Hi there, welcome to part five, where I talk about the audience. Now, my advice on this subject is going to be fairly limited, fairly broad and fairly general. <coughs> so, I'll be using terminology may, might and some of you. So, for some of you, you may realise that there's a variation with the audience that you be performing to. What works with one group of women may not go down so well with another group of women. So you will learn to tell your act to suit. Some of you may realise that there's two types of women in the audience. One type that rates your performance solely on how you look. The other that rates your performance by what you do. OK, let's talk about the latter who rates your performance by what you do. For some of you, you may hear the, hear the feedback of, well, any guy could come on stage and drop his pants. We want to see some form of entertainment. We want to see some form of show. For the first type, that rates a guy's performance solely by how he looks. It does what it says on a the tin. Their idea of a good stripper is simply a guy that looks good, irrespective of what he does on stage. Now, for some of you, now, some of you, I have to laugh because I'm, um, I'm building up to something here. Some of you will come across a venue that attracts a large number of a certain type of women. And for some of you, you will get the experience where you no longer want to perform at that sort of venue. Because you will discover that it's hassle. It's hassle with payment. It's hassle with the audience. For some of you, you may find you don't go down very well with this type of women. Uh, they have a squeamish, uh, prudish approach on the most part. You may find that they're very difficult to work with. I'll give you an example. You may be booked in a venue where this type of women are the majority in the crowd. So you go to get them up on stage and you're going to get, no, 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 no. You go to another, no, 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 no. You go to another, no, 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 no. So you then focus your attention on another type of woman who makes up the minority in that particular crowd. And you find that she's easier to work with because she comes on stage more willing and she's more fun to work with. So at the end of the night, you might find because you've had so many no, 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 no's that you only manage to pick maybe two of the majority of the women in the crowd on stage and you've ended up pulling three or four of the other type. And then to your surprise, the feedback may come back to you that um, the complaint against you is that you focused your attention too much on the other type of women instead of the majority of the women that was in the place because you had a big choice. And then you scratch your head and think, well, hold on, am I the only person in the whole place that realised that it was the majority of the women who caused me to approach other type in the first place because it was them that were saying, no, 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 no. So I am being blamed for their actions. It's their fault why I focus my attention to other type of women. But it's my fault. So on that note, you decide oh, you no longer want to perform at them sort of venues because they're just hassle. And for some of you, you may realise guys who are the same as you have the same approach as yourself. And you think, oh, wow, it's not just me. There's a few of us that don't like performing at these venues and we want to avoid these sort of venues. So for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, because I'm talking in riddles, all I could say, for people who's watching, who's familiar with the city that likes to eat chocolate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. OK, I hope that's been of help for you and um, see you in part six where I talk about racism in the industry. OK, thank you very much. Bye.